What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Trail Tales. My name is Kyle O'Grady. I am a through hiker. I am a peak bagger. I am a huge hiking nerd. And every single week on this podcast, you know what we do. We chat with other through hikers and other peak baggers and other hiking nerds about their experiences on the trail. Now, this is a bit of a different episode. So I actually recorded this episode with my good friend and this week's guest, Luke Lil Otter McKay. Uh, we recorded this back in September of this year, shortly after I got home from the PCT. Now, for those of you that don't know, Luke was the one behind the scenes taking care of the editing of my PCT videos this summer. It was so awesome working with him. We talk all about what it was like putting together all the videos and how we pulled all that off. And then we also talk quite a bit about the Appalachian Trail in the second half of the episode because Luke has hiked the Appalachian Trail. And so it was kind of fun to reminisce on that. Like I said, Luke and I recorded this episode back in September. At the time, I hadn't launched the show yet, again, or relaunched the show, I guess. And so I didn't know when it was going to come out. I didn't know what episode number it was going to be, but I knew it was going to come out at some point. And well, here we are. We also did a video version of this podcast. This is the first time I've ever done that, but you're not going to get to see it unless you're on Patreon, patreon.com slash Kyle Hates Hiking. I'm going to post the video version up there. For everybody on Patreon, thank you so much to everybody who supports the content over there. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy the little video thing. And for everybody else, I I kind of alluded to it being a video podcast a few times because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it at the time, but I've since decided it's going on Patreon, so sorry if I tease you a little bit about that in the actual audio. But that's enough rambling. Let's get into the app. Oh, actually, no, there's one more thing. Um, we talk about the Washita Trail in this episode. This was recorded before we hiked it, like just a few weeks before we hiked it. And at the time, we were pronouncing the name of the trail wrong. We were calling it the Wachita Trail, I think, something like that. And that is the wrong pronunciation. So don't hate me for that. We we later discovered it was incorrect. And so, yeah, it's the Washita Trail, not the Wachita Trail cringe every time you hear me call it Wachita or whatever the hell I call it. Okay, let's get into it. Episode number 126 with Luke McKay. Yo, what's up everybody? This is Trail Tales. My name is Kyle O'Grady. I have this podcast sometimes. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is the first, not the first in-person episode of Trail Tales because Flossie and I have done a couple literally crammed in my bedroom, like right up next to the microphone, which did not work as well as this setup. <laughs> but this is the first, like, it feels like the first in person because this is more relaxed and we're on video too. The first ever recorded episode. Whoa, of Trail Tales. Welcome to the future. That is some shit. Let me tell you, um, to the future. To that. <laughs> Luke McKay is our guest this week. Luke, I'm sure some of you, especially those of you that follow the YouTube channel, are familiar with Luke at this point, but in case you're not, we're going to figure out everything about this man. He's a very experienced hiker, and he's a great content creator as well, um, and we worked hand-in-hand hand digitally to uh, to make the PCT videos happen, and we're going to talk about that and a bunch of other stuff. So without further ado, Luke freaking McKay, ah. welcome to the show, my friend. It's good to be here, Kyle. Is it? It's yeah. It's really good to be here. Where are we right now? Oh man, we are in West Georgia, and uh, in in a little small town, and uh, we're in my trailer, which is a nice little twenty one footer, and uh, you know it's like nine forty five at night, and uh, we're just we're just chilling. But uh, Luke lives in this trailer. I do. I live in this trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's all right. It's pretty sweet. I gotta it's say. Nice. I gotta say, I do like it. All these people doing the van life thing—they're super silly. <laughs> they're really, really silly. They need to be getting just get them. For, it's just—it's a little longer. It's probably cheaper, you know. Is it? Yeah. Well, I mean, shit. You told depends. me. Depends if you. I mean, if you get a Mercedes Benz Sprinter, ooh. Or I mean, that's I mean that's tall. I mean, but you could get like the Ram, you know, vans or the you know the old all, Promaster. There's all kinds there's, of vans. There's no way that those would be like any cheaper than than this thing though. But a little bit more convenient, maybe, because you don't have to tow it around. But you're you're just Depends. I mean you're you're posted up here for a little while anyway, so Depends. that doesn't even matter. I at like the moment. I really like having my vehicle separate from my living space because then true. I can go I can go f off in my vehicle and leave the living space, which probably isn't so off road worthy. <laughs> um, leave it 
in a more, you know, fitting spot. That's fair. That's fair. So. Luke, for for those that don't know you, introduce yourself. Talk about what you've hiked. Um <laughs> How you got into this crazy through hiking, backpacking thing, right? All that stuff. Um, so I have done two through hikes. I've done the Appalachian Trail. I did that in 2021. That took about six months because I like to take my time, baby. <laughs> and uh, and then I did the Pinhoti a little bit after that. I got off the AT and was like, you know what, this through hiking thing it kicks ass. So I kind of want to do it a little bit more. Nice voice crack there. Not gonna cut it. No, don't. Um, so then I came off the AT and did the Pinhoti the following spring uh, after finishing the AT in, in September. And uh, and then did the ben, Benton Mackay connection uh, up to Springer so that, you know, it's kind of a continuous from Flag Mountain to Katahdin. So as far as through hiking experience, that is the end-all be-all, um, but hopefully not the end of the list in the future. I can think of another trail you through hiked. What's that? The Art Lope Trail. Oh! <laughs> you know, anything under like 100 miles. Is, no. No, the Art Lope Trail was really nice. And uh, I can't remember who I did that with. Some idiot. Some <laughs> freaking ugly, ugly mofo, dude. Anyways. Um, but yeah, no, the Art Lope Trail was nice. Uh, but it's, you know, it's very much like the AT, you know. I'm I'm looking for through hikes in the future that look way different. Wow, over the over the AT already, huh? I'm not over it. I'm not saying I won't come back to it at another point. Um, but for now, I I'm kind of I kind of have the concept in my head that pretty much everything eastern like fourth of the United States <laughs> is you can put up a fun graphic here for the, all you people to watch I'm, it on I'm the not video. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, on, everything on the like eastern fourth is just, it kind of all looks the same. The mountains are kind of all the same, you know. It, they're they're they have their charm, they have their age, you know. They they have the things that are great about them, um, but they all kind of look the same, you know, even, all the way up through. I I think you know that you have some variation, but there's definitely the the U.S. is super duper duper diverse. Yeah. And so um, there's lots of things that I want to get it, got. It pains me to hear you say that because after hiking. You know, most of the PCT, like, man, I'm itching to get back into, like, some East Coast kind of stuff, some trees. Like, I don't care, man. That's what I like. That's what I know. Not, not that... It was nice to have that familiarity. Yeah. And not that, like, there's anything against, like, the PCT terrain. Like, it's freaking amazing. Like, you can't you can't beat the Sierras, folks, but it's like, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to be back and, and doing some, some East Coast stuff again. And, and for, for context, um, this is the first podcast i've recorded since the pct although it probably won't be the first one that you guys hear so we're just gonna oh god what was that i don't know I'm trying to burp <laughs> but anyway so yeah this is the first podcast that i've done since so it's gonna be rusty it's gonna be rusty but it's also not gonna make sense because it's out of order because they're probably gonna have heard a few episodes about the PCT by now, so we're just going to pretend I didn't say any of that. Fair enough. But, um, why don't we, how do I do this? Let's see. We're going to well, talk there about was the... A, there was another first part to your question. You asked for what, what through hikes I've done, and then what was the other thing? And then we started like talking about the Art Lamb. Love Trail. We're off to a Art great Love start. Trail. And we're doing great. And then, we're, and then you were shitting on the AT, and I was defending the AT. No, the AT's great. <laughs> but so why, why do you hate to... the AT? Like, what is it? I didn't hate the AT! <laughs> <laughs> this man fucking hates trees. Big time. What are you talking about? I'm a huge hammocker. Huge hammock proponent. That's true. We could talk about that. I could talk about that. That's a whole podcast, baby. Yeah. We no, could. we don't. That's probably not. <laughs> we could talk about some hammocks at some point. But let's start. Okay. Let's get back on track here. Whoever's calling you needs to shut the fuck up right yeah, now. Yeah, it's not me. Oh, it's the, it's the speaker. The speaker. Oh, the old Bluetooth speaker. Cut it. All right. This is what happens when you record a podcast in somebody's... Whoa. Living space. Whoa. I almost said house, but it's, it's not your house. Um, about it is my house. I need to know. I don't even know if I've ever asked you this, honestly. Um, how did you first learn about the AT and what made you want to hike it? I honestly don't really have a clear cut answer to that. You can uh, try. But no, I'll give it my best shot. The, the, 
I got into nobody in my family does this kind of thing. No, my my dad he's he's kind of a video game kind of you know a, doctor doctor your dad's guy. a gamer dude. Your dad's a big gamer. He's got his own podcast. He goes to Dragon Con. What? He's great. He does his own thing. Oh, I didn't even it. know this. And my older brother he loves that too. Um, but your dad has a podcast. He does. Yeah. Damn. Um, What's but it called? Give him a shout out. It's called the Gene Pool Variety Hour with Sean McKay and Connor McKay. Is it like an actual like good podcast or is it some bullshit like this? <laughs> it's, it's some bullshit like this. It's exactly, it's exactly like this. Um, no, nah, it's just a dad and his son talking about nerdy stuff, watching nerdy movies and, and talking about nerdy stuff. I don't know. That's cool. Um, but anyways, uh, and my mom, she likes to camp, but she's not a hiker. She's not a backpacker. Um, so anyway, I just picked this up because honestly, when I was super young, the first memory I have of, of learning about backpacking and thinking like, wow, that's really cool. It was like, I don't know how old I was. I was kind of, I was pretty young and there's literally just like this fellow across the street who backpacked and he was much older than I was. He was like, I was like probably in elementary school. He was probably in like high school. So it was like big role model, you know? And he was, you know, good shape, and he was whatever this like whatever guy, and uh, and he and he did backpacking stuff, and and I was like, wow, that's like just like the concept to me of like walking through the wilderness with all the stuff you need on your back. It just fascinated me from the get go, and I was like, I really want to do that, and so I started watching YouTube videos. And who'd uh, you watch? I was a big Darwin guy. I was a big Darwin guy. I didn't really watch anyone. Else. I watched I watched some of your stuff. <laughs> off and on but uh but i was mostly just like uh next no 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 no. like i mean i did watch it's just like i really i mo- i just didn't i didn't consume a, more than i needed you know so it was like i found darwin and he was good enough for what i needed and i did remember what because i remember watching your ultralight jerk videos <laughs> here here lately and uh, and being like, I've definitely watched this before, like years ago. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I know I've watched your stuff. But anyways, so I was mostly a Darwin guy, and he informed a lot of my, my gear decisions and, and all that. Um, and so from then, I just started backpack. I, you know, I, I've lived in Georgia, in West Georgia, for, for quite some time. And uh, I kind of fell in love with backpacking in Chia State Park. That's where the... Um, highest point in Alabama is the Penhody crosses through there. It's a really nice area, and so that's where I fell in love with backpacking. I just went to Walmart, and and bought all basically Walmart gear. I should, honestly, I should have started YouTube and then because you know that's a clickable video. The old Ozark I think Dixie, setup. Yeah, dude, I threw like the whole AT and an Ozark Trail backpack. And, nice. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I I um, didn't know anything when I was doing those first few trips, but who does? And uh, I had a great time, and I really liked it. And the friends that I drug with me had a terrible time, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but we're all the better for it. So, so you had backpacked a little bit before you went out to through hike, right? I had done nothing more than a week. So, I mean, I'd done like that's, a couple, that's a two to three. Pretty good amount, though. I had, that's a pretty good amount. I would say I'd done probably two to three. You know. Two to three night trips that, and I'd done probably three or so of those, and then I did like a fall. Anyway, I went to Grayson Highlands, so I mean, I, I had some experience, but nothing ever more than a week. And um, the, as far as frequency, I mean, it wasn't yeah. that often. But dude, there's so many people that, like Flossie, for instance, when he started the AT, that guy never even freaking he'd gone on right? a couple day hikes, he'd never backpacked before. It's crazy. And on the PCT, Brandon Phoenix right. was the same way. He he done a couple day hikes never backpacked before so i feel like you know a week of experience is like it's probably more than what a lot of people have absolutely probably a lot of people listening to this podcast that are thinking about through hiking <laughs> potentially um so like that's that that's that's not bad fair enough I yeah the, but but i have massive respect for those people oh dude me too are you kidding me like i remember <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's insane but they like, also make the best stories kind of on, yeah. on those first on that like dude, just this... like the breaking in period Oh my gosh. There's no way that I would have been successful on the AT if I hadn't friggin' backpacked. Are you kidding me? Like, like my first backpacking trip, granted I was like 16, but like, that's right. Trail Tales is back. I'm talking about how I was 16 and backpacking again. That's a reoccurring theme here, but like, there's no way, like, there's absolutely no way. First of all, I wouldn't have even tried, but like, even if I had, like, I do have like massive respect for that and like. That's crazy. The gall. The balls, man. It's crazy. I feel like 
You see, you could say that. Jumping but, in. But at the same feet. time, they probably don't understand what they're getting themselves into either. Well, so. it's trial by fire, and it's like sink or swim, you know? Yeah. But it's like, if you, if, if, you, if you don't know what you're getting yourself into, it's a little bit easier to take that plunge, maybe. Yeah. That's true. Know. I mean, it it is very true. People love to psych themselves up about hiking and, you know, they like to just like over, way too overanalyze and be like, you know, like, I can't, I can't go hike if I gotta, if I gotta do this or if I gotta have this or I gotta watch this video. It's like, just go walk, man. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> oh, we're getting preachy. I love it. No, no, sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're kidding, bro. I'm just fucking with you. But no, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. So. I Another thing that you always, not always, a few times you've mentioned to me is how you were like, when you started the AT, you weren't really planning on hiking the whole thing. And then, you, yeah. and then you just like did like, how did, how did that happen? Yeah, I've got this. So I'm kind of t- long, I mean, long story with this air force thing. I was in college doing air force RTC. They were preparing for college. And then I left college and now I'm doing this through hiking thing because it's way more fun. And, um, but I, so I left college and I was like, you know what? I got to wait on some paperwork. I'm just going to hop on, you know, a trail and walk until this paperwork is done. And then however many weeks or month or whatever that it is, um, then I'll hop off trail and then go do the air force thing that I have to do. Um, so yeah, I got on trail thinking I was just going to be out there for a couple days, weeks, months. And, um, that turned into, into six months and, uh, it was great six months. Um, but yeah, I, I'm... You must have had some sort of idea that you might be out there for well, the whole thing. I got an idea. So I got kind of sort of like your disenrollment paperwork from ROTC has been completed. And so I got that information when I was in like late Virginia. Mm-hmm. And so then I got in contact with a recruiter in Roanoke, Virginia. And I was like, hey... Um, is it cool? Like, what's the deal if I just finish this thing that I'm doing? Like, finish this hike. It's like two, three more months. So you had the idea. You I did the have idea. the idea. I, I did eventually make the decision. I was like, I really kind of want to finish this thing. Because <laughs> I, I needed I needed that feeling of finishing something. You know what I mean? After yeah. after leaving school, I was like, I need. I, I want to do this, you know? Yeah. Finishing the AT is way better than finishing school. Oh, way better. Maybe not, the, maybe not financially, but <laughs> Probably. in terms of life experience. Yeah. Way you ah, uh, if you if you can stand it, I would recommend anybody do it. Yeah, everybody do it. And there's a lot of people Try listening it. that have, and there's a lot of people listening that are planning on it, or maybe yeah. a lot of people listening that have no desire to, but they're still fascinated by it because it's a fascinating thing. But I I just think that's funny because you 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 say like, I don't know, maybe I'm I'm hyping this up or building this up into something it's not, but I always get the impression that you like set foot on. Springer Mountain, and you were just like, oh, I'm just going to hike for a little bit, and then you just wound up doing the whole thing. But I feel like there must have been something inside of your heart, even just a little bit of something that at was the, like, maybe I'm going to do the whole thing right from the start. Genuinely, at the very get-go, I was like, I'm going to be out here for a couple weeks. Damn. Or a month or so. That's crazy. And, um, but yeah, the, the, the further I got from that start point, though, and the more miles I put behind me... The more I was like, I really got to finish this thing, dude. I really got to do this. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, I did develop that mindset, but I really didn't have it at the get-go. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Maybe, I wonder if that almost made it, like, less intimidating. Because I know, and I've, I've talked yeah. about this at length in previous episodes, you know, back when I used to make podcast episodes. But, freaking, at the start, dude, I was so, I was so intimidated. I was like... And I was a pretty experienced backpacker at that point. Really? I had, you know, I'd done the long trail and some other stuff and I was very comfortable backpacking, but just the thought of being out there for that long, I was like, shit, like, I almost wonder if it would have been a little bit easier to comprehend for that first week, maybe if like I wasn't planning on doing it all. And then after you get that first like week or two out of the way mm-hmm. and you kind of know what it's about and then you're like, all right, I guess I'll go for the whole thing. Right. I don't know. I wonder, were, were you like, were you nervous at all when you started? I was so excited. <laughs> so you weren't I was, excited or nervous? I was excited just to feel like I was embarking on one last adventure before doing this Air Force thing for a little while. Um, but 
I, uh, I'm sorry, I lost, I lost my train of thought. What were you talking? I was about? asking if you were nervous. I wasn't. I mean, no, I wasn't nervous. I, I got more. I started out excited, and I just got more excited as trail went on. That's, that's like a little hack. Start your through hike, not planning on through hiking. <laughs> that's the whole what I'm thing. saying. Just like that's what, well, I mean, the mini <laughs> rant from a second ago. The mini rant from a second ago, where I'm like, just go out there and walk. Like it's, it's. Like, don't psych yourself up about it. You know what I mean? Like, step foot on Springer Mountain and just walk north until you decide that you're not physically, financially, or emotionally able to. And maybe you'll make it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, there's no reason to get your panties in a twist. You know what I mean? Or you could get your panties in a twist and fucking force you yourself to do that shit. And that, you could do it because that's what I exactly. do. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. See, it's there's, there's so many different ways to think about it, right? Right. Like, because... I think that is a good mindset for a lot of people. But then, honestly, I was, like, kind of the total opposite. I was, like, right from this, maybe this is why I was so nervous. Um, but I also do genuinely think it was a reason, a big reason why I was able to do the whole thing. I went into it, like, man, I'm hiking this whole fucking trail. Like, I was, I spent freaking months just, like, hyping myself up and, like, preparing my mind, being, like, this is going to be hard. Like, this is gonna be like a huge challenge like you have to like fucking rise to the occasion and and do this right um and and it worked for me so i don't know it's like i think it just kind of depends on your personality that's exactly what i was about to say like it's uh, i'm the kind of personality that's like i like to fly by the seat of my pants all the time and um and that's and that's and i love living that way but like there's other people that's just like that would eat them alive like they can't do it you know what i mean i feel like i'm kind of that way and that's and that's totally fine it's just differences in personality and how we approach life and that's and that's totally totally fine so i'm not saying everybody needs to like week before they start their through hike just be like i think i'm gonna get it on at springer mountain (laughs) you know like don't maybe don't do that everybody (laughs) but but if you're feeling froggy, freaking go do it. If you're feeling froggy. Yeah. Is that, a, is that a southern term? I don't know. I just say things. <laughs> you say beans a lot. I've noticed that. Beans. I picked that up from an ultralight jerk subreddit. Ooh. Because they love they love talking about... They love shitting on bush bushcrafters and talking about beans and olive oil. Yeah. That's pretty much their... Is that the ultralight, ultralight jerk subreddit? Oh, yeah. I've made a few appearances on there. I've, I literally... Not, not me personally, but people have made no, memes I, of me. No, I'm, I'm fully aware because literally <laughs> I was I was at work the other night and I was trying to make... I was trying to start writing that script for that for that bit, uh, for the skit I was telling you yeah. I wanted to do. And, uh, and so I was looking for inspiration and looking for whatever, you know, through there. And I was like, oh, sh- oh shoot, there's Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. Sometimes people make fun of me. It was. was, I remember what it was. It was. It was. You were smacking the backpack. backpack. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, it was. was That's a good one. Somebody. That. It's like a few years old now. I think somebody. I didn't see it. I don't like really follow that subreddit very closely. But some like just a random subscriber like saw it and sent it to me one day, and I saw it, and I was like, at first I was like, oh shit, like what are these people saying about me? And then I saw it, and I was like. I was like, that's actually pretty, pretty funny. Oh, like, it's great! It's great. All I guess the I, comments are so good because, yeah. like, there's not a there's not a hint of sincerity in that subreddit. Oh, Every no, sing, no. everything is is sarcasm. It's epic. Yeah, I should probably explain. So the the joke is, um, I mentioned it in a video one time actually. Um, there's a it's a meme. I'm probably not going to do this justice at all, but I didn't make it, so fuck it. Um, there's a, a picture of uh, like a girl's ass. And it says like what what girls think guys want to slap, and then below it's a picture of me slapping my backpack like while I was doing like a gear review video or something, and it's like what girls or what uh, guys actually want to slap. Yeah, and the comments are so good. (laughs) And like my face, I'm I have this like it's just a screenshot. Like so good. I'm pretty sure I was wearing I don't know maybe I wasn't wearing this shirt. I probably was. Entirely likely. It's very very possible. Um, Mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about freaking. The PCT and this whole project. So let's do it again. I'll just give a, a brief recap here. So um, for those of you that don't know, Luke was the one editing my PCT vlogs, um, which was sick. And I think we should just talk a little bit about. I'm sorry for those of you that don't watch the videos, which which you should go do by the way. I, I like genuinely like that's not just a shameless plug. I, I think you'll get a lot out of it. But I put a lot of work into it. He put a lot of work into it. So when I was starting to kind of put this idea of the PCT hike, um, you know, 
into motion. I knew I wanted to film, but I didn't want to edit while I was out there. And I know a lot of people do that, including a lot of people that I've had as previous guests on the show. But I was just like, man, I've through hiked before. I know how hard this shit is. I genuinely don't think that I'm going to have the, um, I don't know, the, the strength, the mental strength, the, des- the desire, the energy to film edit and through hike all at the same time. For and so, that long. Dude, it's insane. It still blows my mind how people do that. And so I was like, it's possible because people do it, but I was like, I don't think that I can do it. And, and honestly, I didn't really want to either. Like, through hiking is hard enough. Like, the PC was fucking hard. Like, I I, I didn't think that I could do it. And so... But I'll, if it's, I'll add... No, you're good. It's also just the fact that editing on trail on your phone is... Oh. inherently going to create a less that's a lower thing. quality product so than if the... you send the footage back to someone who can do yeah. it on a computer with a stylized look in mind not just doing it on your phone and slapping some music behind yeah it. the quality would have suffered for sure yeah. not only because of the you know the technical limitations like editing on your phone instead of on an actual computer but also because i wouldn't have had the energy to put my like all into the edits right. like it just <clears throat> it wouldn't have it wouldn't have been good and so you know, one of the first things I decided when I decided that I wanted to through hike and I decided that I wanted to film it was I need to find someone to edit these fucking videos. And I'd never worked with an editor before. I didn't know what I was doing. I could have gone and hired some like freelance editor, but I was like, it's going to be too expensive. First of all, second of all, I don't know. I just, I was like, I think I can find somebody. And so yeah. I, I made this whole like Google forums, like application for like, like hiring PCT editor, whatever vlog editor. And I spent, I, I made this whole application and my plan was I, we were leaving in mid May and I think I posted it in like January. It was pretty early like on. It was several, many months before. It was at latest February. I think it's it was my January. most recent video. Go watch it. Oh really? Huh? No, actually by the time, who knows when this is yeah, 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 don't, yeah, even, don't even go there. But, um, I, so I, I posted this like many months in advance and my plan was, I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel. I'm going to post it on Instagram. I'm going right. to get it out to as many people as I possibly can. It's, I'm going to take a few months and like try to pick like a person. And Luke was, I don't think you were the first person to apply, but you were the first person. There was only five people that applied and you were the first person that like jumped out to me, like your, like your answers and stuff. And I only posted it one time. I, like I said, I had this whole plan to post it for like a long time in multiple different places to try to increase my chances of finding somebody. Right. I didn't I, even know that. I only posted it one time on my community tab on my channel, which doesn't, yeah. not that many people are going to see it there. Right. And that's all it took. And so I saw Luke's application and I was looking for somebody who had like the basic editing skills, but I wasn't looking for like a professional editor first of all, because that would have cost more. But second of all, I was like, my edits aren't that complicated. I can probably teach somebody who has like the basics, like what I'm going for. And I was much more, the, the real thing I was looking for was someone who understood like the style of my videos. And I found that in Luke. Luke was the first person that I, I always feel like a fucking pretentious douchebag <laughs> saying this, but interviewed. the first person I interviewed, um, only two, only interviewed two people, um, and he was the first one, and I knew right from the beginning that Luke was going to be the man for the job, <laughs> because you you were just like, you were asking me all these questions about my videos, like all these like specific details, technical stuff, as well as just like style and like the way that like the story usually flows through my videos. You were asking me all these like specific questions that I, I hadn't even thought about. And so I was like, man, if he's already, like, getting the gears turning on this stuff, like, he clearly, like, gets what I'm going for. Um, I gave him some footage. He did, like, a little test edit, and it was great. And the rest is history. The rest is history, baby. Yeah. So I guess... Um, you mean to elaborate on, like, my side of that? Is that what... Yeah, I should probably ask you a question about it, sure, but dude, no, I don't know. No. I, just, I just said a lot. It's like... I don't know. Were you actually that serious about it when you applied or did you actually think there was even a chance that it would happen? I I didn't. What led to me applying for it was I had I was getting up to like episode 15 from my Appalachian Trail through hike series 
and I was getting comfortable. I had edited some videos in the past, but like nothing too serious. And so I, and so by the like 15th episode of the AT thing, I was trying new things. I was trying to get better. I was trying to be good. And, and so I, I got to the point where I was like, you know, maybe I've got a snowball's chance in hell. There's a Southern thing for you. <laughs> um, at, uh, at, 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 at a shot at this, you know, and, uh, cause I thought it was like, whoa, what a crazy opportunity, you know, to me. I was like, well, this is, this is so, I don't know. I, I just had never fathomed ever doing anything like that, you know, yeah. much less, you know, so like the thriking thing happened and then all of a sudden this editing thing happened and then all of a sudden super quickly I'm like editing for this other guy. But, it, and so I put in the application, very bashfully, I I remember because I remember like it, it, almost as soon as I submitted it, you could all you could go look back and look. There's a comment underneath where I say like, "Please don't judge me for my bad <laughs> like GoPro video quality on my AT series," but like you know I knew that was the only thing he had to reference really at the time. Yeah. Um, and so, anyways, and so I, yeah, I was really bashful. I was like, "No, there's no chance." And and yeah, and I I remember that interview. It was I was sitting right. You can't see it, but in a, in the little trailer booth next to you. And, Damn, uh, that's crazy. And and yeah, it was a great. The interview went really well. And I remember us uh, scheduling the interview and me being at work, you know, a day or two in advance, and thinking like, you know what, I'm gonna be like a good, you know, employee. Like I'm gonna study for this job. I'm gonna whatever. <laughs> So I literally go on Kyle's channel and I and I go and I watch his like through hiking specific videos, the on trail videos, the on trail. Which I yeah, think yeah. I think I had mentioned something about the on trail videos in the application. I think so. That, so. Kinda, that was probably like a little hint. I think so. Because like the talking head videos are obviously much different right. than the actual vlogs. And also something I completely forgot to say. Um, Luke did a fucking amazing job at editing the PCT videos. Oh. He did like way better than I ever could have even possibly hoped for which is why it's so like amazing to me that you were like the first person i talked to and like basically i just found you like right away yeah so that, that's like that's an important part of the story i, I left out but anyways thank sorry. you no i really appreciate it uh i just i just love the fact that we clicked so quickly just because we have sense similar senses of humor um we just we we wanted the you easily communicated your view to me which was it it felt like it was pretty naturally executed. Mm -hmm. Um, and so like, I, I can't say that it would have been the same if I was editing for some silly advertisement, you know, or yeah. something, but like, I loved this because I love hiking and, and I, and I had kind of known you and, um, I don't know. It was just a really cool growing experience. Yeah. And, and I'm, and I'm, yeah. And it, the, just, it was, it was a really good fit. It really was. Yeah, I no, think. it was for sure. Um, and, and you, you just, just did like the get go. You just did such an amazing job and like, man, it's like, I feel like you've like made me kind of have to step up a little bit in terms <laughs> of my editing as well. Cause like you were doing such a good job that I feel like you did a better job editing than I would have done. On like honestly, and like the commenters clearly <laughs> agree with that. If you go and read the comments on the videos, I, I did. I did peruse all the comments. Um, yeah. So I, it's like I don't know. Like it just it went like way way better. Not that I like didn't think it would go well, but like I guess just thinking about like where I was when I was first looking for someone to edit. Or even just, like, thinking about, like, starting to look for someone to edit. Like, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Thanks, what do you think, um, what do you think was the hardest part about the process? And not just, like, the technical editing stuff, but even just, like, the communication with me. Like, the whole, like, anything from the entire, the entire process. Ooh. You can put me on the spot, too. Uh, um, I would say... The toughest part <laughs> was, um, I had a hard time editing long talking bits. <laughs> um, hey guys, <laughs> good morning everybody. Today we're doing 17 miles, 4,000 feet of elevation gain. And, uh, Luke, what should I say? I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> put the camera on Flossie for a minute. Flossie says some bullshit. Yeah. There's a lot of repeated nonsense, but. Yeah. Um, and so uh, it was, it was good for me though. Cause it, it gave me the opportunity to, to really think creatively and spice up the dialogue as, as best that I knew how, um, still within the bounds of your kind of, um, 
sense of humor. Yeah. Um, and you did a great job with it. Thank you. And I remember before, like shortly before I started, I remember saying like one of the things I think is going to be hard for you is kind of deciphering what I would want left in for the talking mm-hmm. bits. I guess for some reference too for everybody. Um, when I film my talking parts of my videos, you know, a lot of the video is like B-roll and, you know, that's fairly straightforward to edit, you know, but a lot of the video is also me pointing the camera at myself and going, hey, you know, basically what I just did a second ago. Um, and so the way I always did it before Luke was editing was I would just turn the camera on and I would just say a bunch of nonsense. And then <laughs> when I was editing, I would cut a lot of it out and I would just keep the best parts. And I remember saying to you, like, I feel like it's going to be hard for you to decipher like what exactly I would want to leave in and yeah. what I would want to cut out. And so I did try my best to like maybe be a little bit more concise with what I was saying, but obviously there's still a lot of stuff that had to get cut out. And like, not only is it hard to pick out the stuff that's, you know, the, most entertaining and most important stuff for the viewers to see. But also did you ever feel like you were kind of trying to choose things that you think I would want to be left in, like trying to get in my head right, a little bit. Like right. I feel like that must've been a little bit challenging. It, it was. Cause I, I mean, I, I, I was aiming to impress, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I mean, good. I really was. I, I like from the get go, I was like, I was like, this is my, this is my national debut. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is it. This is my shot. And so I was like, and and so I wanted to do well, you know, and I wanted to emulate what Kyle would have put out, but I wanted to do it a little better. And, you know, I think you succeeded. And that's not crapping on Kyle. Kyle did great. I just, I wanted, you know, I wanted to do a good job, but, but Kyle, um, what was your question, dude? I'm drunk. I don't know. (laughs) We're just talking about editing. Uh, I was asking you what the most difficult most right. difficult part was no. I mean that that really was it. I mean, I would I would feel there were times I would feel maybe slightly overwhelmed trying to cut out pieces that I felt were not relevant or were repeated, while also trying to piece together like out of a ten minute talking clip, trying to like make a cohesive like mm-hmm. sentence and story out of out of you know out of stuff but um definitely as time went on i got better at it and i got more comfortable because i i i knew kind of from the feedback you were giving me and the feedback that the audience was giving me that like they were liking it and so the more comfortable i got the more pain free the process became yeah to to you know cut stuff out that must have been a kind of a a big like sigh of relief at least speaking for myself anyways like after that first video was posted and like I saw the comments and I saw that people were digging it and yeah. I saw that they were, there's so many comments about you like saying like Luke did a great job editing yeah. this. That must've felt good. Cause you know what, that it? felt like a huge weight off. I still remember exactly where I was like where Flossie and I were when we like first watched that video, yeah. like and everything, like it was, it was, it was awesome. That's epic. I, I, yeah, this whole thing. I mean, every video I would, when they would go up, I, I loved reading the comments. Cause it's like, I love getting the feedback and seeing what people are thinking, you know? Cause, um, this is like, you know, this is like your creation. You knew get it. Cause you've been making videos for a while. This is new for me. So I'm like, Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Like I'm making something yeah. that people are responding to a lot of people. And so like that, that was, it's just a new experience for me. And so yeah. it's been really special. Most people who had like your level of experience editing were not making videos that were getting seen by that many people. Right. And so this was a huge opportunity. Not that know? like there's like a ton of people watching my videos, sure. but you know what I mean? Like right. if you're just starting your own channel, for instance, most likely you wouldn't have been getting, you know, 15 to 20,000 views per video, you know, right. when you first start out. So right. I don't know. I never even thought about that till right now. Was that ever like intimidating at all? Or were you just you like, mean? I don't what know part, what part specifically. Just like the fact that you didn't have like that much editing experience, and all of a sudden you're being paid to edit these videos that a decent amount of people are watching. Yeah, no, that yeah, that is a good point. If um, that was intimidating, you did a great job of hiding it because I never noticed it. It was, it was, because I was like, "What am I doing? I don't do not belong here." <laughs> what? Because I know because because that, that's what I felt like because I was like this is a totally new realm for me I have no professional experience all my experience is with some dinky do- GoPro you know for with yeah. a half of a, half of a through hike's worth of footage and you know and I tried to string something together and I tried to make myself better but I had no frame of reference as to what might be demanded of me 
beyond what I was making for myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when I was making that transition to you and then even in the future making the transition to like other editing projects, like making that transition was, I was apprehensive at first for sure. Just because it didn't show. Well, thank you. I would say you, you rose to the occasion. Thank you. Kind of unrelated, but also still on the topic of editing and the PCT videos. Um, you remember the episode where we oh, did the I night do. hike? I do, I do. <laughs> that's just, I do. That's I remember true. every episode really I was well. Say. And the night hiking one is by far my favorite. Yes, watch it is. It. So that intro. Oh. So a few weeks ago, after I got home, uh, I was talking to my sister. Um, so those of you that are on Patreon, you might remember a little clip that I posted on Patreon. Yes. You see where I'm going with this? I know where you're so, going with this. So, a little clip that I posted... I have to pee. Go ahead and tell them. Okay, I okay, okay. I posted a little, a little clip on Patreon um, that my sister edited that was... I don't even know how to describe it. It was like this fake movie trailer, almost. It was like this intense like music, and there was like some clips from our hike. And my sister just put this together for fun, and then she sent it to me. And then it was really funny, so I was like, this is hilarious. I'm going to post this on Patreon, if that's okay, Eliza. And she let me do it. And so, basically, I did that. And then I never put two and two together until a few weeks ago when my sister came over. But the intro for that night hiking video is eerily similar. Oh, yeah! It's eerily similar oh, yeah. to the video that my sister made. <laughs> And so that's like the first thing she said to me when she walked in the house a few weeks ago. She was like, Luke, like, copy my video. And and I was like, he did? I was like, really? I didn't. And she's like, yeah, like, pull it up, pull it up. And sure enough, it was pretty damn silly. <laughs> it was, but. And did you copy it? All right. I, I don't care. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my little monologue real quick. So I flip and I saw her video because, you know, I'm on Kyle's channel posting shit. And, uh, and I saw that Patreon video, and I was like, I'm going to watch it. It was like a minute long, whatever. And, oh my gosh, it cracked me up. I thought it was so funny. It was so good. And, of course, I was like, this is epic. So then, Kyle sends me the footage from next week's hike. And from, like, whatever. What He sends me the next episode's worth of footage. And I can't so, remember which. It was, like, it was six, six or seven, right? Six. Yeah, six. six. And, you remember? Um, <laughs> sorry, yeah, that was like snap. <laughs> no, no, you're good. Um, but and so, uh, so he sends me that footage, and I, you know, whenever I get a, a new episode's worth, I normally go through the whole thing, trim up the talking, get a vibe for the whole episode, and then try to start to put together things, you know. And so immediately I'm getting like, this is, this is like night shift vibes, you know, like this is, this is like they're hiking at night. I can definitely put a spooky trailer on this, <laughs> you know, like I could definitely have so much fun yeah. like with, with this footage, you know, because <laughs> you pull anything out of context and it's funny. You know what I mean? Like you just, even just like unnecessary censorship is funny. Like oh, you yeah. just bleep out the next five words I say and it's going to make someone chuckle, <laughs> chuckle. You know what I mean? So Anyway, so I, I get this footage. I'm like, this is so good. I got to do like a horror trailer. And of course, yes, I did take some inspiration from your sister's clip. I, I don't know <laughs> if I told you that. But... Including the soundtrack, right? No. No, she's, no, no. She's, she told me it was the same exact soundtrack. No, 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 no. Definitely not. Ooh, I know, okay, I, know okay. the, I know the soundtrack that she used. And I love the soundtrack, but I didn't use it because oh, I don't okay. know if it's copyright free. All right, well, I got everything. Take I that, used. Liza. You were wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got everything. I, I, the reason, and this is bringing me into why I am saying it's different creatively and artistically. I really nitpickingly like learned how to sound design trailers and stuff for that project. <laughs> so like I was I was seriously like anyway, I had so many different audio files from so many different places, but most of it was sound effects and then a couple of main um like songs, but those both of those were from Epidemic Sound. So those weren't taken from what lies okay there. okay she 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 thought but no, no no she thought you just straight up copied the entire no, thing. no 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 no, no. <laughs> i wouldn't have done that i wouldn't have done that oh i mean who cares i, I if it's good it's good right it's just I a mean, silly video my sister made exactly. yeah, it's not like it's some other person's video that you're copying but i do love that that sound that she used <laughs> whatever it is i don't know it's so that epic. video is probably my favorite one out of all of them honestly with the six yeah oh it's my favorite it's by far my favorite yeah I which is hilarious because what happened is um, 
uh, my microphone for my camera was having issues for that video. And so a bunch of the audio that I gave, or a bunch of the footage that I gave Luke, the audio was completely unusable. It was totally fucked. And so I basically just threw you the footage and I was like, hey, just do your best. Like, try to make something of it. Like, I was not going to, like, be very picky about what it was. And not only did you make a good video out of a bunch of really shitty audio in a kind of a shitty situation, but it was the best freaking video of the whole series somehow. It was amazing. Thanks, bud. I did. I put a lot into that one. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. It showed. I think but, I paid you pretty well for I, that one. But too. I had, <laughs> but I had a lot of fun with it, you know. And and any time that I'm like was teaching myself something, you know, like that didn't that yeah. came at, at no cost to the employer. You know? Oh, but freaking um, awesome. <laughs> But it's because I genuinely enjoyed doing this, you know, and enjoyed, like, teaching myself new skills and, and, and had fun sound designing a little trailer for you guys. Like. <laughs> it showed, man. Let's, uh, let's, let's transition a little bit. What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you while you were backpacking? Oh, this is, oh, this is, oh, 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 I love this question. It's so good. You love it? I love this question. You can't be that embarrassed. I love this question. No, it's, I don't really have... An embarrassment, um, <laughs> like, signal that in my brain. That is true, because I saw you get caught taking a shit while we were on the Art Lope Trail, and <laughs> you just so casually were just like, oh, yeah, sorry, you know, just pulled your pants, like... <laughs> yeah, whatever it and is. And I was like, if that was me, dude, I would have been fucking <laughs> dying, bro. Shit. I, like, that did happen to me on the AT one time, and it, I, it was still probably the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to oh, me I Oh, I, I make light of it. I'm like, this is a great day. <laughs> this, I'm like, hey, let's have a full-fledged conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. most embarrassing thing. Oh, oh, okay. So, uh, we're on top of Bald Mountain. This is in Tennessee, Appalachian Trail. We're about to go head into Uncle Johnny's slash Irwin, Tennessee the next day. And we hear about a uh, pizza buffet called Pizza Plus. And we're, like, getting psyched up that night before. We're like, oh, we're going to Pizza Plus. We're going <laughs> to stuff our faces with pizza until we're silly. And so we go to Irwin the next day. And we go into town, and we go to Pizza Plus, and we eat ourselves silly, and then we go home, uh, back to, like, Uncle Johnny's, because, like, they're separate. Anyway, whatever. So, we spend the night across the river, across the Nolichucky River, from Uncle Johnny's, me and three other guys. Shout out to Voodoo, Twinkle Toes, and Rambo. <laughs> um, and then, and so the next morning, Twinkle Toes, he sticks his head out of it he, he unzips his tent like seven six seven in the morning he goes he goes boys i shit myself and we were like oh that's you know that's a big that's a big bummer <laughs> yeah and then and then later that afternoon rambo was next he started throwing up and Ooh. uh and then that evening on uh the bus ride on the shuttle ride back from town uh voodoo <clears throat> he started throwing up and so that's like that evening and i'm not sick yet but, like, I know, like, the common denominator here is Pizza Plus. Yeah. And it's coming. <laughs> and it's coming hard. <laughs> so, 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 like, that night I, I go to sleep, whatever. Now, a little preface for you. I am a bit of a fire bug, and I like to sleep with my hammock a little too close to fire. And so I, I tend to get little bitty fire ember burns in my in my hammock. And so some of those went untended. And so, here we go, fast forward back, and so I'm going to sleep. Next morning, I wake up, it's about 6 in the morning, I wake up to my hammock splitting down the middle, <laughs> and me falling into the sand, standing up, and then exclaiming some kind of expletive, and shitting myself, as I, <laughs> as I yelled, whatever it was that I yelled, probably something not so nice. And, um... Yeah, it shit myself real good. Wait, so it just happened to happen at the exact moment that your hammock split? No, I literally, I think it happened because of the oh, rage that oh, bubbled from within. It and was then, like, and then you just like kind of falling. Did you? No, did no, you no. I think I think it hammer? was literally like as I stood up and I was like, Ugh! like as I as oh, I yelled, you were, oh, whatever it was, because you were pissed about your hammock, right? Oh, I, whenever okay, I was right. like, oh, like fudge, like I shit myself. <laughs> So you're the last one of the group. Yes, yes. And uh and my whole morning was awful. Again, you don't seem very embarrassed about this. <laughs> no, I don't have I don't have that. That's good. S uh that alarm. But um but yeah, so I spent the morning washing my underwear out in the sink and <laughs> it was a great day. What do you think is the most overrated state on the Appalachian Trail? Ooh, overrated. 
United State? I, don't know if I just came up with that completely off the top of my dome. They're all freaking... I, I They're can all only, overrated, can according only, to you, can, at the beginning of the podcast. I can only but. think about fear-mongered states, not overrated states. Right. Give me some overrated states that you can think of. Um... You know that's a that's a good point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like what's of... overrated? Like what is like what state does somebody go? That's the best state. Like unless it's like maybe Maine. <laughs> it's like, but, like Maryland. No, they're but, like, dude, Maryland's fucking yeah, sick. right. And you're it's like, like, bro, that state fucking like, sucks, right? Nobody's like Maryland Georgia. Right. I actually like. Maryland, I mean, but... t- yeah, well, it's like forty miles and flat. I enjoyed Maryland. This was a nice day and a half, but. Okay, okay. Let's let's ask a different question. See, I'm out of practice. I haven't done a podcast. Well, I have a while. question. You need a beer. Um, no, I'm I'm good on this one. Here's a better one. What was the hardest state for you on the Appalachian Trail? Oh, Maine. All right, so same. Maine. Dude, easy, easy. So Physically, like, mentally, both. All, oh, well. Definitely physically. Definitely, yeah. Definitely I physically. I came, into, I came into Maine with Giardia, so <laughs> it was already not good. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the worst spot on the whole Right? Okay, fucking... so I'm coming like from the Wildcats, and I, like as I'm coming from the Wildcats, I'm like, something's not right. So I get down to whatever that uh, Hanover, no, whatever that uh, town Gorham. is. At the... Gorham. Gorham, thank you. Yeah, Gorham. I get to Gorham, and I spend like two or three zeros there. Just trying to recover. Uh, Voodoo, shout out to Voodoo. And Rambo again, because his dad is the doc who sent Voodoo the meds. Voodoo had Giardia earlier, so now I had it. And Voodoo, like a dum-dum, didn't take all of his antibiotics. But Ooh. yay, now I get some. So I took his <laughs> antibiotics. But of course, then I don't take the full yeah, course either. <laughs> and so like it didn't help me at all. So now I'm just like delaying the pain further until I get, just resistant. get a full course of exactly <laughs> exactly so like I'm just uh, yeah not not smart but I uh, I I hiked through pretty much those first like 50 to 90 miles of Maine with Giardia before going it to lasted the ER. that long really no no I went to the ER and oh. got it fixed is were you filtering your water yeah, I always filter my. I I don't filter my water if it follows certain qualifications, and we can talk about those. But I most most <laughs> most of the time filter my water. I'm not a dumb dumb. I filter my water unless it's coming out of the crack of a rock at the peak of a mountain in a hole out of a hole in the ground, ice cold. This maybe. is literally the video we're gonna film tomorrow. I know. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> we'll save that spoiler. Damn, I've never. I did. I, I don't know anything about Giardia. I've never had it. I was under the impression, clearly not correctly, that it was just like kind of like Noro, like it was just like a quick thing that goes you through in a couple to days. You kind of have to something to take care of. Damn, it. I didn't know that. Shit. Maybe it can run its course. How do you but... think you... Do you have any idea how you got it? I mean, probably bad water at some point, but... But I you're mean... filtering it. Right. And it's got to gotta be a bacteria Crap if you're taking any... You know, those filters, you never know. <laughs> I don't know. I like to think they work. What were you oh. using? Soy or be free? Be free. Oh, that's why. No, yeah, kidding. of course. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> um, I think Voodoo was using be free too. Oh shit! I know. Did he get it? He got it too. It's common. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Damn. Anyways, who Ooh. knows? Who knows? Anyways, yeah, that made Maine really kind of my yeah. That's state. that's like literally because... the worst place for that and, to happen. Oh, it was, and I lost my DCF hammock tarp around there too. <laughs> I just like that whole like first bit, that first half of Maine was so hard, dude. And like I remember like hiking eight miles in one day, like hard hiking, like sun yeah. up to sundown, like. A good solid day of hiking and putting in like eight miles and being like, I am freaking whipped. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, Southern Maine was brutal. It yeah. was. It, it was, was unreal. I remember like I was hiking with this other dude. We we Before we get to Southern Maine, he's like telling me, hey, I might want a yo-yo by the time I finish at what? Katahdin. I think I might want to t- flip He must have yellow blazed and... like half the trail. No, 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 no. He that. didn't yellow blaze at all. <laughs> he didn't yellow blaze a single That's... foot. This guy's a freaking maniac. Dude. Yeah, no and, but, way. But no, but then as soon as we got to Southern Maine, we were like 40, 50 miles into Southern Maine. He's like, yeah, nope, not doing that. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, I thought you meant he was saying in Southern Maine that he was going to No, 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 I was no. Like, well, no. I mean, it's still, cra- it's still crazy no matter what, but right. like, damn. His tone changed for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was the hardest date, I would say. That was tough. But all the other ones I enjoyed, you know. All of them? 
Uh, Even West Virginia. West Virginia. Honestly, West Virginia was just hot, sweaty, and buggy and quick. Maryland was hot, sweaty, buggy, and quick. New York was flat, hot, what? buggy, New York's sweaty. not flat. It's relatively flat. No, it's not. Shut not the fuck Okay, okay, up. okay, okay. That's not really, what, okay, that's not really what I mean. That's not really what I mean. Really what I mean is too urban and t- like no good views and like... There really New York is just views. bean. New York and New Jersey are just beans. New York fucking suck but i didn't think it was flat i get what you're saying like and maybe in context like the views not flat but like it's like it's it's not there's no they big there's no big climbs bitch puds. that's exactly what i'm fucking and saying. they weren't even like nice bitch puds they were like <laughs> bitch bitch puds you know what i mean like they like they would go up and then they would like curve around what could be a view you know what i mean <laughs> yeah they suck, dude. Dude, that's exactly... See, when you said New York was flat, like, I get what you're saying now. I was like, it was not flat because it was literally just tiny ups, tiny downs. And, like, you go up, and it was steep, usually. Pretty, yeah! It was pretty steep. So, like, you go up really steep, but not for very long. You know, maybe a mile, maybe 500 feet or whatever. Right. And steep enough that, like, it's kind of a pain. And then you get to the top... And then you're like, all right, I'm finally at the top. Thank God, I can kind of rest a little bit. You start going down, and then by the time you caught your breath from the from the up, the down's not very long either. Right. So you're already starting to go up again. Yeah. So I, I dude, New York, and it was also hot as shit when I went through there. But it was and the brutal. water always sucked. You know, I think I think hiking trail turns you into a water snob. Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. Because wait I, till the, you hike the PCC. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. Um. But anyway, the water in New York and New Jersey was kind of beans. It's dunk. Um, and it was just, it's so urban. It just felt like you were hiking yeah. in like people's backyards, essentially. That's it's, what it felt like. It sucks because New York State has like such amazing hiking and like the Adirondacks. And even the Catskills are pretty cool too. Yeah. But obviously like the AT can't go through the Adirondacks. It's not even part of the Appalachian Mountain chain, fun fact. Oh. Which is interesting. Yeah. But it's yeah. very reminiscent of the whites. But anyways, um, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but fuck New York, basically. Yeah. I don't know. At least it's short. Yeah. Um, Virginia was cool. You, uh, did you? you did nobody you... can general. You cannot generalize Virginia at all. You can't say Virginia's flat. You can't say Virginia's I agree hard. With, I agree with that, that, dude. It's so what, it's so you, different. Like, you yeah. can't say any. You just have to and take it so for long. what it is. It's so long. You just got to take it for what it is, and it you know. And there's like so diverse. many distinct sections yeah. too. Like Grayson this, and Shenandoah and all kinds and of everything things. else. Yeah, There's everything three else. Sections basically. No, right? No, but no. It, it, like for sure, I'm I'm definitely with you on that. Like I hate it when people. I talked about this in a video, like way the hell back, like one of my first videos. Like Virginia is not just flat. No, it's not flat. Actually, it's also not pretty, just hard. No, and there there, there just, are some know? pretty flat. Like Shenandoah wasn't yeah. too bad, but then there were some like pretty big climbs. I don't remember. Exactly. The only one I remember was the priest, but I remember there was a couple other ones in that section there too. Did you put a confession in the priest shelter? Oh, I did. What was it? Oh, uh, what was uh, your, that is, that you, is a you while remember, back. Do you remember? I, honestly, mine's even closer. Mine's like not even that long ago, and I don't remember. And you don't remember? Fuck. What did I say? It was probably I don't know. I did not write some generic bullshit about how my cat holes aren't deep right, enough. Right, dude. Everybody did that crap. So, so I guess to give some context. There's yeah. this. There's a shelter in uh, Virginia on the AT. Is it just called the priest shelter? Yeah, the priest shelter. The pre and, and I guess because of the priest connection, everyone yeah. in the logbook, everyone will write like their trail confessions. Their, yeah, trail sins. And like ninety percent of this is an exaggeration, but a lot of them were just like, "Dear Father, I have sinned. My cat holes are only five inches instead of six. Which yeah. was funny as shit the first time it was written, but after a while, after the ninth time that on season, the same page. yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that season on the same that day for, yeah. for crying out loud, like yeah. friggin'. What did I write? I can't. I remember. can't remember either. I Damn probably it. It must not have been a picture very good. somewhere. I know. Anyway, sorry, bad segue. Since we obviously I do, didn't get anything funny out of it. The funniest thing I remember, maybe it's not funny at all. You guys can let me know if it's funny, and you can let me know. Sure. The funniest thing I did in the logbooks was, um, also I love how I just finished the PCT and. We're just talking about the AT this whole time, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we did talk about the PCT <laughs> that's videos. True. That's true. That's true. We talked about the videos. But anyways, so the funniest logbook thing I, th- I think I did was my friend Mullet Mike, who's been on the show a few times way back when. Um, the the OG listeners will be familiar um, with, with him. I got ahead of him 
he like stayed like took a zero to stay with his girlfriend or something and i kept hiking and we were going to link back up in a few days or whatever and so i knew that he would be reading my entries in the logbook so i was just like chirping him in the logbook i would write i was i'd be like mullet mike hates puppies or like yeah mullet mike yeah friggin yellow blazes Love or some those. bullshit like that yeah and that wasn't as funny as I thought it was at the time. No, no, no. But, but you do get to the point where I mean, you would you write like I, we would, we started having limerick competitions in the shelter <laughs> logbooks. So like we would write, ah, you know, and I can't even think of one. Freaking a. But, you know, like, we would, it was so fun, though, because, like, you would see a limerick that your friend wrote at that shelter yeah. for lunch, like, the next day or whatever, whatever. And, um, anyway, and then you'd write one. It was, like, a fun thing to do at lunch and yeah. chat about and laugh about. They would always be silly. I miss those. Limericks are fun. I miss those on the PCT. Because, like, you have, oh, the like... shelters? In, in the logbooks, man. Oh, the logbooks. Because, like, not the, you know, some people would go, like, ape shit in the logbooks. It sounds like maybe you were doing that a little bit more than I was, or, or your crew was, anyways. Uh, off and on, more towards yeah. the beginning, and then later, you know, most folks, I think. So I was never, like, super into the logbooks, but I would, you know, I wouldn't sign all of them. But if I stopped at all at a shelter, I would sign them. Yeah. And, and write a little blurb or whatever. And so, on the PCT, like, every now and then you'll get, like, a trail register at, like, a trailhead. But it's not quite the same thing because you're not writing like an entry. You're just like writing your name and your start date and, you know, some bullshit like that. And every now and then you'll get like a logbook at like a business along the trail. But it was never like freaking, I don't know, that, that's quite, I mean, it's not unique to the AT, but like the AT is probably like the most well-known trail that has that whole culture of like the logbooks, man. Yeah. And then every now and then you'll get the person that like, I miss the AT, bro. I miss this shit. <laughs> I hope I hope we get some logbooks on the uh, whatever the fuck this. I was about called. to. I was literally about <laughs> to segue with the exact same thing. That, <laughs> what is the Wachita Trail? It is about 200 miles, and it goes through like western Oklahoma, eastern Oklahoma to uh, through most of Arkansas, and um, not most. It's of about to get a part of Arkansas. <laughs> a part of Arkansas. It goes through some of the whatever, like the oldest oh. national park or oldest national forest, oh. oldest national forest in the United States. I didn't even States, know that. I think. Don't don't quote him on that. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> sounds, if I just sounds sparkles, cool, though. it'll become existence. Um. But anyways, yeah. So we're 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 wanting to go do that. That trail is looking to get stomped, coming at you Ooh. by. Kyle hates hiking and experience over things. Uh, this late October, probably this will... I don't know when this comes out. I don't know either. But we're going to have to do another episode after we get back so we can Absolutely. just talk about our experience. And just hang out, dude. I'm really I'm excited. Having a great time. I, like, I find it kind of hard to believe that I hiked almost 2,200 miles this year already on the PCT. And I'm this excited to go hike even more. But <laughs> I am. I'm excited. The thought of going back to the PCT right now sounds repulsive to me. It's. I feel like I shouldn't be this excited for this hike. Because like I just hiked 22 basic, 100 basically miles of the damn PCT. And like you think I'd be over hiking. But I'm so excited to go hike this. And, and to be clear, the thought of going back to the PCT right now is like repulsive right like i'm i'm gonna go back next year like right. that sounds great but like going back right now or like in the next month sounds terrible but going somewhere else with different terrain honestly i like the fact that this trail has shelters do right i was just thinking like, it's like the dope. at like, log books i'm like we yeah. could probably make log books in this guy and honestly the biggest thing for me well there's two the two biggest things two biggest reasons i'm excited for this trail first reason it's in two different states i've never been to in my life and we get to bonus drive through two more states I've never been to on the way there and back, which isn't quite as exciting as hiking through them. But I get to drive through Mississippi. I'm freaking pumped, dude. Everyone yeah, loves dude. that state. But um, <laughs> I'm also excited for the fact that uh, I got a new hammock set up, dude. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> no, that definitely clipped. Um, oh, I know. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So I'm excited to sleep in a hammock again. Heck yeah. My tent setup was great like i'm very happy with it on the pct but uh i'm excited to sleep in a hammock again and that's probably the number one thing i'm most excited for on this hike hell yeah cheers to that brother and with that luke thank you for doing this man tell people where they can go watch your videos where they can go find your instagram your tiktok your only fans like all that stuff listen guys listen tiktok's for losers <laughs> especially kyle <laughs> Um, you can go follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel for all things self-deprecation 
not speaking in coherent sentences and losing train of thought, you can ex- subscribe to me at Experience Over Things. Um, on Search YouTube. that. Experience Over Things. Search that, exactly. And uh, and uh, my Insta fart is Luke underscore McKay 98. You gotta change that to Experience Over Things. I guess so. The, it's actually taken. I've literally hit up the guy who owns it. It's some chiropractor in somewhere. Did he reply? He did. And he's he was not kind. <laughs> Did you offer to buy it, or did you just? I say... was like, I was like, hey man, can we work something out? And he like wasn't open to anything. What a fucking ass! I know, what a goober. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, that's where you can find me. Um, please, uh, please come, come, let me know what you think of my stuff and uh, say hello. Thank you. Definitely. All right, thank you for listening and watching, everybody. First ever video Trail Tales episode. We're gonna do more of these. We're gonna get like something else for this we're gonna get two microphones instead of one yeah (laughs) and we're gonna get better lighting as well so i'm really pumped on this setup this was fun shoot yeah dude this is fun thank you guys for listening and watching peace cheers guys we did it